of the th- of the third game of the day. But but um, you know that's just me. Well, I've yeah, I've done that this year, haven't I? I watched yeah. seven games at Magic <laughs> Weekend, six games at the Summer Bash. Mm. There's seven games at the Summer Bash because I was in for the women's yeah. game at the Summer Bash as well. Yeah. Then I was there for two games on Saturday and two games on Sunday this weekend. I've really been the RFL's kind of the the one they can build. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm the same. I'm really bright. Yeah. Um, on to the action then. It yep. was uh, the first semi final was St Helens 16, Catalan Dragons. 35, it was 27 nil to the Catalan Dragons at half time. Robert Hicks was the man with the whistle in this one. Um, and we start with a, a Saints fan first up in the fan views, Lee. Um, so um, Aidan Stalker at Aidan Stalker said, uh, We shat the bed. <laughs> Short and sweet. Yeah, Tom Andrews at Tom underscore HKR said, Bit disappointed that Catalans are at Wembley, only because I've had a ticket since November and was hoping for a good atmosphere. But fair play to them, Saints were shite and Barber was a myth. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Can't, yeah, we'll talk yeah. a little bit about the impact on the Wembley attendance after we've talked about the game, I think. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, another short one for me from uh, Selby underscore CM. Um, lol. Yeah. <laughs> can you guess who... Uh, who uh, I can't remember now if it's Christopher or Mark, because that's what C and M stand for, but I can't remember which which one he goes by in uh, in everyday life. But can you guess who he supports? Yeah, Wigan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, St. David said, Oh, bugger. Well, we got that completely wrong. No intensity, energy or patience to create pressure. Catalan had all three in abundance and were excellent. Would have been worse if Knowles had seen red. Only Tomo and LMS emerged with credit. Saints need to learn quickly ahead of next semi-final at the end of the eighth just to have hope Catalan beat the wire scum in the final. Mean. Um, and then uh, Tyler Katz fan uh, another appearance at, uh, rare appearance first yeah, appearance yeah, yeah. of the season for Tyler yeah, Katz yeah I've heard from him for a while um, Ali Lagaz um, that's how you upset the form book intensity passion and basically winning in every category just hope they can maintain this form and carry through to the end of the month uh, Tim G Radio who's been working on his French recently mm. uh, he says Les Drax ses d'or Ale pour Wembley. So that means the Dragons were gold. Okay. Uh, and then uh, yeah. we're going to Wembley, I think, or something like that. I'm yeah. sure I'll get corrected on that. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> there you go. He has been working on his French, so is Tim. Yeah. So uh, good, work, good work there, Tim. Well um, yeah, uh, Paul O'Brien, uh, 1976, said, um, Well done to Catalan Dragons. Best team on the day one. So Helen's just weren't in it in the first half. Have to say that I thought Robert Hicks um, and his two touch judges had a great game. I, uh, I don't disagree with that. Though. Yeah, we'll probably talk a little bit about the yellow card later on. Mm, but um, yeah, Sarah said, such a mismatch, totally one-sided. The RFL need to act to ensure we have more competitive matches shown on terrestrial TV. Oh, wait a minute, Saints are top and everything. They do turns to gold and Ben Barber is a world beater. What went wrong? Mm. Over complacency, has the bubble burst? Is the slump about to happen? It was convincing a convincing 80 from Catalans. Hicks outstanding too. Um, Brian Davies uh, said, Catalans were superb. A very unexpected result, but thoroughly deserved by the French. Really pleased for Steve Mack, who took loads of criticism when he was England coach. The day was superb. Great venue and occasion. I'd repeat the exercise again next year, then look for a bigger stadium. Yeah, Tommy Lucchese at Moochwag said... Well deserved. Catalan outplayed Saints from the get go. McNamara deserves credit for the job he's done at Catalan this season. Um, and Lewis um, hashtag FBPE um, at infamous Worth. No, sorry, at infamous underscore Worth. Excellent, amazing. Only one person not happy. Sorry, only person not happy is the RFL ticket office manager. Uh, I, it was they were great, weren't they, Catalans? From from the yeah. from the off, really, they had yeah. better intensity and that sort of stuff. Yeah. You were kind of away from uh, you were at the end. Saints were attacking in the first half, weren't you? So. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was <laughs> well throughout both games. I was at the end when most of the tries weren't scored. So, uh, but but it, it was I was because I was at the end. You could see the shapes that they were running and they um, and everything to so, it. That was a, a really good perspective for uh, for me. But yeah, straight. You know, the middles were just were just outstanding, weren't they? I just thought um, uh, they were, there were so many top performances from Catalans, and I don't know whether Saints 
had a, they looked to be having an off day, or, um, or whether it was just that Catalans were so good and just caught them off off guard and just put them on the back foot, and the, where they've not used, where, where they haven't been used to being. But it was it was a really interesting watch because Catalan, the, obviously, it was two 0 for most of that first twenty minutes or yeah, so yeah, wasn't yeah. in the game, yeah. and uh, and Catalan in that period still did look. Definitely the better side physically. They were going. Yeah. They, were, they were playing the ball so much faster. They were winning almost every collision in attack and defence. Mm-hmm. So when the uh, you know when they scored the first try on twenty minutes through Lewis Tierney, it was great try, great finish, great finish from yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, there was maybe half a question mark about the pat pat back. Was it forwards? The, no, I, I don't, right. no, I think it was fine. But I right. think the Saints fans didn't. All right, yeah, yeah. but it was. Uh, yeah, it was a great finish in the corner, and that was what they deserved. Yeah, you sort yeah. of thought, well, then the Saints going to kick into it because uh, was that was it just just around that time where James Roby knocked on, didn't he, trying to put the ball down? Yes, yeah. Um, and then uh, then Ben Garcia scored his try, and then they kicked a drop goal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was... <laughs> and and that seemed a. Uh, a little bit, a little bit weird. That, in that, and then, do you think that the main talking point maybe the first half, other than the fact that Catalan were physically way, way better than the than the Saints, was um, the yellow card for Morgan Knowles? I think it, it, everyone gasped in the yeah. stadium, didn't they? God, it looked, yeah, yeah. It the looked like a bad line. one because yeah. of the na- yeah, yeah. clothesline, like you say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he, he obviously was a, a smart little. Pass wasn't it, and Morgan Knowles had, had sort of he'd uh, he'd gone all in the other way, hadn't he? And yeah. He, he had to get his arm out, he, and he, uh, you know, it was uh, I mean, it was a terrible. It looked bad. I mean, he's a tough guy, uh, Edwards, isn't he? Like, well, uh, <laughs> debatable. Think, yeah. But he's uh, a big guy. He's yeah. Guy, whether <laughs> yeah. he's actually tough, yeah, is, yeah. Is, is in my mind debatable. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it takes a bit to get him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might say. It looked exaggerated, but really, from every which angle, mm-hmm. it, it, he's ran into a straight arm, hasn't he? Really, yeah. I, I think if it wasn't a semi-final, it it could easily have been a red card. Would you say? Or, I uh, yeah, I think there was some mitigation in it that you could tell Knowles was way off balance because he was yeah. reaching, wasn't he, around the man who passed mm-hmm. the ball, who he was going to be tackling for. Yeah. So it, it was a reach. It wasn't. Um, it, it wasn't like he was swinging in with an intent to hurt the guy. It was a reach to try and do something desperate. So yeah. it was a desperate act. There was an element of it kind of brushed off the ball a little bit. And rather than it take his jaw, it took his neck. Mm-hmm. So maybe all those things played into it. I think the yellow card was definitely the right decision. Had had he not made that uh, that clothesline challenge, would it have been a try, do you think? It, I, he seemed he was running a great line and I haven't watched it back so I, it's only just from memory. He ran a but, great line, he was going yeah. at some good pace and uh, and I'm assuming on the angle he was running he might have been running back in at Danny Richardson so you would expect that there was a chance for a try yeah. being on. It, it, it was far enough out that you couldn't say it was a certainty, yeah. I yeah. would say. Yeah. I, I, it, that was my concern like, well, at the time because I, I was convinced Saints were going to get back into it and, yeah. uh, at some point my concern not that we're like pretending to even give a shit about Saints are we <laughs> but uh, well I'd just seen them uh, steal a win off us the yeah. week before I was uh, I was still hurting from that but um, but yeah so uh, uh, but, but yeah I mean I, I I was I thought there was a chance there'd be a red card and then and then I and then I, my dad asked me about it. My dad, my dad came to the game with me, and um, I, said, I, I said, "Then I think it'll be a yellow because yeah. it's a semi." And, yeah. uh, and 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 then so it was. But but a, a very, as it turned out, it did ha- it it hamstrung them enough. Um, well, yeah, it, like in that period that he was off the field was uh, that that that's when they uh, sort of. I was really surprised that Catalans took the two after mm. they were already three scores ahead with the drop goal that they'd had. I was really surprised they took the two at that point. But then, probably the try of the game from mm. the Catalans' point of view, the Tony Gigo try, you'll yeah, have yeah. a really good view of that from behind then. You'll have seen just how much space there was <laughs> yeah, yeah. for them to attack. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I mean, that, uh, that was the, uh, the Ben Julian run, wasn't it? And obviously, he's a, he's a darling of the Warrington fans anyway, so anything that he did 
was cheered in the, yeah. in the Warrington end, and obviously it went it went on that great run and sort of cut uh, cut inside, and then sort of went round the man and just passed it round yeah. back. It was a, it was a great play by him, and just put put him under the sticks. And that Brilliant was... pass by Gigo as well, wasn't it, to yeah. sort of set it up, and then yeah. the Ben Garcia's second try was maybe. An element of luck to yeah, it that the ball bounce, just yeah. bounced so perfectly <laughs> yeah. into his grasp in a, in a huge <laughs> hole yeah, to yeah. run through and score. But twenty-seven nil and the stroke of half time. I mean, yeah, Carl's are in Wonderland. Yeah, uh, and and it, everything says that they're not that Saints can't come back from that. But but then it's the it's the Saints and you know you you they, they had to come back with a response and and they, they couldn't be as. As awful in that in that second half as they were in the first, you just assume that that, that something could still happen. So, yeah, it it did feel like almost like if it was anyone but Saints, Leeds, or Wigan in that yeah, position, yeah. Maybe, maybe not Leeds of twenty eighteen, but yeah, yeah. of the past, anyone else you would have been writing off completely at that yeah, stage of that yeah. game, wouldn't you? Yeah, with that scoreline, who impressed you in particular in the first half from the from the Catalan perspective? Um, I mean, Gigo was good. Obviously, he got man of the match, didn't he? And I thought he's, he's, he did yeah. a lot of his amazing stuff in the second half. I thought, I thought he was like, I thought he did some really great stuff. It was like when they were really digging in in the second half. Um, Batieri, I thought was good and unsung. I thought he he, he was um, ran the ball hard. Um, and um, and McLaurin again. I thought he, again he was unsung. But Garcia, like basically anybody in that in that middle unit, yeah. were, were, were all the, the the wingers didn't really come into it. And, and although, um, oh, what's he's called the uh, no, so I was yeah. uh, Willie Army. Oh he, yeah, he, he he did a few sort of he, he was running some decent lines. But he wasn't getting much ball, but uh, but I thought he. he he seemed to be um, yeah. That they were busy and productive and all working for each other and digging out. When it, but it was the it was the the middles that that were sort of the stars of the show. I would say. I I thought I sort of agree with you. I think McLaurin probably didn't get a lot of chat mm. about about how he played in the game. But he was on for the first thirty odd minutes, and it it literally just gone off for a rest yeah. when Kenny Edwards went down, <laughs> and he had to come back on for the for the free interchange there. Um, but if anything, that helped them in that Simbin period because it meant they had a recognised dummy half back at dummy half. Garcia does a an okay job in there at the moment. Yeah, the way he's been asked to fill in, you can't cr- slag the way he's played too much. But he's not going to be putting people through holes the same way. So mm-hmm. you could tell the the pick up and the release and looking for where to go and stuff was so much slower when Garcia was in a dummy half yeah. than when McLaurin was. So the fact that McLaurin came back on for that Simbin period did really help them, Mm -hmm. I thought, uh, find those gaps. But Gigo and Garcia, to me, were the best two players on the pitch in the the first half. They were really impressive. All the Catalans' middles rolled into one, almost. (laughs) Just because they were so relentlessly winning the collision, it didn't matter which one of them it was, whether it was Casti or Mm -hmm. Moa or Bousque or... um, Simon, yeah. they all seemed to be absolutely fantastic in that period. That uh, that Sammy Sony Lange, uh break as well. <laughs> he, he he was lively as well when he broke through the middle and yeah. Um, and, and again, that's something that I've not seen from Saints. Just they, they there was there seemed to be just quite brittle in in certain areas, didn't they? Just the, the I've not I've not seen him broken down so easily. I've I've not seen anyone be physically on top of the Saints this year for that length of time during a game mm-hmm. um, we've like we've seen it for bits I think Wigan on Good Friday were probably the most I'd seen anyone really be physically on top of Saints for a prolonged period in the game Wakefield have been this year haven't they I, they, don't know, I don't know whether that was a they have but I don't think I saw it so no. <laughs> <laughs> it happened yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah. know how it happened or yeah. something. but yeah, yeah I'd not seen them feel like someone was getting physically on top and any time I'd seen it start to happen in a game they always seem to get someone off the bench particularly LMS and he's made a big enough impact but in this game he wasn't able to make a big enough impact and then when they do the bit where they bring Farge on there was no space for Farge because the pack was being beaten by a much more motivated and stronger Catalan Dragons pack yeah and um, I I mean I, I I I didn't count it but the um the Saints knocked it on quite a few times, didn't they? In in that first half, yeah. um, I know obviously Roby knocked it on, and uh, so did uh, uh, Moulin, um 
Ah, uh, Kyle Amor uh, knocked it on as well when, yeah. when it was like, pretty close to the sticks as well. So um, I, I think, and, and then. He-